Dave Walker sees a lot of death. Baseball helps get him through it. So does a faith that pure evil is still very rare. And there's that smiling photo that sits atop a messy desk. Every time someone dies at another's hand in Tulsa, Dave Walker shows up to try to figure out who and why. There is a reason why this person's dead. Your job's to go find it. In the seven years he's overseen the Tulsa Police Department's Homicide Division, Sergeant Walker and the detectives who share the office with him have had to find over 450 reasons why. They've gotten there over 95% of the time, one of the highest solve rates of the country's big city police departments. But what's the toll on a man, one who shows up at every murder, no matter the time or day, who sees the absolute worst of humanity week after week and lives with it 24 hours a day? You have to care about this. So we learned early on, you care. If you don't care, you're not gonna be doing this 24 hours a day. It's that caring ability to, to just work until you get it done mm -hmm. and not allowing no answer to be the answer. For years, I've watched the video of him walking about, usually with a clipboard or notepad, ducking beneath crime scene tape, and wondered how he faces one bloody scene after another. Turns out by the time the cameras capture him here, He's already taken the time to consider not only what's just happened, but what's about to come. I personally will, will take a minute, 30 seconds, whatever, go away and, and realize, wow, you know, this, this is somewhere along the line, we're going to have to tell somebody their loved one's dead and that's going to be a bad deal. There are nine of them here on the sixth floor of police headquarters, surrounded by shelves full of sadness, the lives whose tragic ends intertwined with theirs because a bad decision was made a wrong path followed. Decision making is a big part of, of victimology. You know, our victims made a bad choice somewhere along the line. Others just had the bad luck to run across evil, though Sergeant Walker insists, after all he's seen, that pure evil is not a common human trait. And what I have to say is there are so many more of the good people than they are of the true evil. That, that this world is so much better off. You can get anything you want at Alice's Restaurant. He's got a few things that temper the terrible. Grandkids are good for that. Baseball's a big part of the, how I keep my mind off of what we're doing out here. And on a floor filled with the stairs of sadness, in his messy office, atop a messy desk, is a smile. She can feel the, the same compassion. She can put herself in the family spot. She, she will... Uh, tear up when you talk about the, some of the cases. That's Johnny. She and Dave have been together for 21 years. She helps get him through it. Sometimes it, 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 it's a grind because we're done here and we go home and have to explain what we did at work today. Uh, so, but she's very understanding when it comes to that. Are you a man that shows your emotion very easily? Uh, <laughs> I wonder, uh, does anything you see ever make you cry? Yeah, uh, Scott, I knew you are probably going to ask that question, and uh, to answer that, we cry alone. They cry alone in a room filled with tear-stained stories. They cry alone. That's just the way it is. At least publicly, Sergeant Walker has not set a firm retirement day, though it will be this year. Scott Thompson, two works for you.